The following is a production of DallasCowboys.com and the Dallas Cowboys Football Club. How about them, Cowboys? Yeah! Go Cowboys! Blowing out of the backfield, exploding down the sideline. This is Hanging with the Boys, presented by Wingstop, where flavor gets its wings. Now, your hosts, Nate Newton, Kurt Daniels, Jesse Holly, and Shannon Gross. Shannon thursday 9 a.m and you are looking live kind of at a very dark and dismal postillos i'm about to say it's coming it's on the way Uh, yeah it's on the way yeah uh, very dark and dismal <laughs> Tostitos Championship Plaza outside Ford Center at the Star in Frisco, Texas, where it is 69 yeah. degrees. The high is 80. The low is 65. That is Nate. You are Shannon in the back with the homies. It's Chris B keeping us live. My boy is not here today, but that's all right. I'm going to hold it down for him. I am Zaddy Holly. Together, we make Hanging with the Boys, the sports talk equivalent of Braille. People feel us when we speak. Yeah. Brought to you each and every day by Wingstop, where flavor gets its wings. And you can tell spring break is in full effect up here at the Star. So, yes, it is. Yes, it is. Thank you. Uh, thank you, squad in the back, for helping yes. us out with that. Very we appreciate Im- you. Very important part of the show. A so, part of the team. This I got a, I got I'm just sad that Gray isn't here. I'm I got sorry. a text That's about okay. three days ago, two days ago. Uh-oh. Maybe we should go all in for our show this week like the Cowboys and just sit there in silence for 45 <laughs> minutes. I'm not going to call a name. <laughs> well, we can't do that now because they actually signed a couple of people. Well, a couple? A deep snapper. Okay. And Important. a linebacker, which we need. We need. And I don't know much about this guy, so I'm going to lean on you guys to tell me whether it's a very quick conversation or whether it's a long conversation. But I tell you what. This show today is about positivity. This show is about... It's been a lot of aggression happening here in the DFW area lately. Our fans are not happy. Yeah. And rightfully so, because we were told... We're going, and they have, listen, if you don't live around here, they have beat this in the ground. (laughs) I don't even want to talk about it, but I feel like we we have to talk about it. You know, we were told we're all in. And look, that can be, we said on this show when it happened, that can mean so many things. Your definition, right? their definition are not the same definition. Exactly. So I think as a fan, your definition is we're going to make free agency moves. We're going to trade up in the draft. We're going to go get some marquee players. These things we we haven't done since Brandon Carr, however long ago that was. And there has been crickets. And, you know, and, and look, you should expect that. That's what they do around here. Mm-hmm. And, and, and look, that's that's their business. That's the way they handle the offseason. Has it worked? I guess you could look at that and say 36 wins in three years. They have a hell of a team on paper. Like it's the players, they can only do what the players do on the field, right? They have put the team together, and I think they have done a great job putting the team together. So that, in my opinion, has worked. The hard part is when you hear all in and you get your expectations up, and it, and what really hurts is when you look at the division and you hear all these big names flying around. You got mm-hmm. Saquon staying in the division behind a, a hell of an offensive line now. Like that's going to be really interesting. Which Swift wasn't no slouch, right? And then you you got the Commanders making move after move after move, and then. You know, here's the Cowboys and the Giants not doing a whole lot. And, like, now it's like it's just, you know. And then you get on social media and they're just getting killed, right? Like, it's it's actually kind of hilarious if you take your if you take your heart out of it. It's, it's pretty funny. But so that's my take. I usually don't talk this much. But, you know, Kurt's not here today, so I had to pick up the slack because, you know, he usually rambles for a while. So I had to, I had to get my shots in before you guys. You said you six guys. words. <laughs> So you said six words. You, you, you've eaten up your allotment for Kurt. There we go. So, Jesse, uh, what's been happening? Nate's, Nate's already told me. He's like, I'm out. I'm yeah. out on this show. <laughs> what's been happening, Jess? No, man. Life. But here's the thing. And 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 for Cowboy fans and, and for Cowboys onlookers or whatever it is, we forewarned you. And... While, while Mr. Jones, while Jerry Jones and company 
They are the best marketers in the business. By they far. Are, by far. Close. There's not second place is not even close. It's not even close. And that star. They have said this for a long time and different variations. This year it just so happens to be the word, the words, the word salad, the word is all in. Mm-hmm. And and when we took that coming off what happened uh, against Green Bay in the playoffs, and we assumed. And you know what they say about assuming. Right. Mm-hmm. Makes an ass out of you and me. Yeah. Okay. And this is the way that they do business. Mm-hmm. This is the way they do business for a long time. So to expect something different is your fault. It's not their fault. <laughs> it's not. It's, it's not. It's your fault for expecting We're something different. We're even training you to be wrong when you're not. <laughs> like, it is your fault to yeah, expect. Yeah, yeah. You hit Jesse. No, that is. Who fault is it, Jesse? Their fault. Okay. The fans' fault. Talk about the Cowboys. No, 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 no. I'm talking about the fans. Oh, okay. All right. Because you allow yourself to be fooled every single year. No difference has that has has come about in the way that they operate. To their credit, again, we sometimes have to take a step back and p- take off your fan hat just for a moment, if you can. It's hard to do. It's hard to do. And put on your business hat. Put on if you sat in the seat of Jerry Jones. If you sat in the seat of Stephen Jones, I know it's a difficult thing to do. But I wish, I wish Kurt was here. I would tell you to go look up what was fan attendance for the last 20 years. I think the Cowboys have 19 of them. Yeah, most attended games. Most, most fans attended games. Mm-hmm. Go most look at fan watch games. Too. Most, go, yeah. go look at the hundred watch, the, 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 the most viewed TV shows or, or right, right. events in TV, right? Just a TV, not in, sports, in TV. not football, TV. Yes. Probably 90 of them are football, and out of the 90, the top five, three of them are Cowboys. Mm-hmm. And haven't won a Super Bowl in 30 four. years. Mm-hmm. Go look at the merchandise. Go look at the fact that they made $1 billion in what they were able to do in everything that happened at AT&T Stadium. Mm-hmm. I got 12 in last year, the year before that, and the year before that. For all intensive purposes, is I'm saying that right? Intensive purposes, or whatever. Mm-hmm. For all whatever, business is booming. Right. They can smell fresh cash. Business is booming. So why would I change what I do? Right. I am a businessman. I'm a businessman. And the greatest gift that Jerry and Steven and Charlotte and Miss Jean and all of them have is my name is on the checks. They can <laughs> smell fresh cash. <laughs> that was great. Great drop. Hey, great, um, great. Oh, that was, that that was, was perfect. Sweet, bro. About perfect. time you that did some work. About that's time. Y'all practice. No, that was just. I'm no, working back that here. That's just, sweet, that's man. just great production you know right there. I was but, waiting for that. That pause. was just. That's good. Thank funny you. Funny how when the kids show it. up, he actually <laughs> yeah. he's, he's like, "Daddy got to work. Watch this. <laughs> Push a button." <laughs> but. Wow, that was sweet. This what is. The business, ladies and gentlemen. I know, I know, I know that you do not like it. Right. But at the end of the day, when they go sit down with the accountants and they go look at the books, business, this is my camera, business is booming for the Dallas Cowboys. Period. And so I'm not going to change my game in the ninth inning when every time we get to the fourth quarter of the fiscal year, I'm well in, I'm in the green. I'm not in, I'm not even close to the red. I ain't even in the black. I'm in the green. Green, green. Green, green. And that's the name of the game. Yeah. When you when you are able to digest that fact. When you're able to take into the fact that it's about being able to have my bottom dollar be top dog dollar, I think you'll be able to sit and live with what is happening. I'm not changing my game when I'm, when I'm worth, when my franchise is the most valuable franchise 
in any sport on any corner of the continent. And I don't have to produce Super Bowls. That's the nature of the beast. So none of this is surprising. They don't they don't make moves on day one or day two. They they shop in areas, mm-hmm. they draft, they develop, and 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 granted, give them some credit. Give them some credit. I feel how you feel, and I'm not here because I'm not here to take sides or whatever it is, but feel how you feel on paper. It's working. They put a damn good roster out there. Yeah. On paper. Their offense is 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 tops in the league. Defensively, they lead in certain categories, sacks or turnovers. They produce enough to get you to watch, to purchase tickets, and to come along for the ride. Mm-hmm. Now it may come to a flaming, screeching, halting crash year in and year out. But damn it, buckle up. This is what it is. I'm here for it. So... The mo- show up every week. The moment, the moment you, <laughs> the moment you're able to sit with that and stop thinking that they think how you think. The moment you, the moment you'll be better. You have to come to a point in time when you just have to. I have a saying, like in my life, is that I love people for who they are. Right. right if if right, if right. if you're a person who I know is consistently. Lying. <laughs> wow. Wow. Can you right? be more positive? No, I'm just saying. <laughs> I love you. But I know you're a liar. But if I believe you, it's not your fault. Right. It's my fault because I know you're a liar. Why are you trying to connect this with the I'm Cowboys? not. I'm not. Why that that just so happened to come not? out first. <laughs> if, you're a person that, if you're a person that's consistently late. Right. Okay, good, good. If you're a person that's consistently Jesse? late. A couple of days while the draft is going. No, no, look at it. A couple of days while free agency. If you're a person, if you're a person that's consistently late. To the Cowboys. Hey, be on time. Chris, you back there. You working today, Chris. You working Chris. today. He, hey, he I'm on to, fire. Hey, look. He trying to show them kids he actually does something. You work. earned your $10 a day. Yeah. Thank you. But if you're a person that's consistently late, I love you. But if I expect, expect you, to be, expect on you time, to be on time, it's fault. not your fault. Yeah. It's my fault. You've shown me exactly who you are. And if you choose to not associate with that person because of those habits, that's your decision. That's my decision. And you can do that. But if you're going to stick around, then you got ex- what gotta you got. Acceptable. Gotta be acceptable. Yeah. Same thing with this team. <laughs> and, and let, until you have enough and you go, I'm not doing it. Cook. I'm, I'm trading my loyalty in for another team and I'm going over here, which. Obviously, they sell out every game the fan base has not done. You keep coming back, you know. And we, you said it. You, 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 you said it. You do say things that are right, and you do have wisdom on this show. And I appreciate you contributing. You know, see the grace, even though people don't want to hear it. It's all good. A lot of times, you it said it. The 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 week that he said we're all in, you said now. What does that mean? There you go. We'll that. TBD, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> now, when we get to July and we're in training camp and we're still, you know, we may still be asking that question. Okay, when do we find out? What no, you means? won't be asking that question. No, nope, You'll nope. be talking about how great Thank you. the guys that we Thank have you. are. And what will happen, we'll get to auction art, <laughs> yeah. and then the, 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 the social media team, they'll show, they'll, they'll do this clip, and the cars will be back to – they'll be backed up. The and John Machado will be will have a couple of clips from the sideline, yeah. and everybody will be retweeting them and like, oh, my God, look at this. We they're G- Will McClay did it again. We were just – yes. I know, I know, man. I, I can't show y'all some of these pictures I got during the week of hey, who's going to be our whoa. starting. What's wrong? What pictures? What uh, pictures no, can't so you? What I got from some of our guys of who's going to be the starting running back and the little fellow that <laughs> ran oh, our, our, Yeah, our, uh, our, our show yeah. text chain. May, yeah. may not be politically correct. Yeah, you know, you like, know what? Well. Let's talk about that when we come back. Let's talk about, you know, what are we – Tony yep. Pollard's with the Titans. They say he's a notable addition on Good Morning Football. <sighs> we'll talk about Eric Kendricks a little bit. I think this is a good sign. I think this is a good signing. I think I it's a great oh, it's signing. A great signing. I, I mean, I don't okay. know about great. the guy's a machine. Like I don't we know said, about great, he, great, great. Come you on, guys. You asked one question for okay. me. Does he get injured? You say no. 
No. He answered a great. We, <laughs> so we have a reliable. B- reliable linebacker. Wow, it's been a while. Yes, sir. All right. It's been just a while. Our luck. Just our luck. He'll get here. Yeah. No, no. We just See, jinxed him. Don't do that. It's, hey, don't I, do that. Well, Kurt's not, here. Kurt's not here, so he's not snake bit. So <laughs> maybe he'll get through. By the way, Nate, good job. You escaped the first segment without contributing. That's exactly oh, no, what you no, wanted no. to Jesse do today. did a hell of a job. <laughs> you call the Cowboys a liar. They always blame you. I didn't. I didn't. I didn't. I didn't. I see. In not so many words. Yeah. Dude. I didn't. Great examples, Jess. All right. We will be right back, and we'll talk more. We'll give you – this is this is the, the show of sunshine and hope and, and brightness today. Nah, Chris, pull that outside picture up. Of what the of what the doom and like. gloom. Put the, pull that picture up. That's yeah. what we are. The plaza. We're the plaza. Not today. We're the plaza. That's the way the fans feel. Look, the there plaza. you go. Look how dark. It's not really that dark. It's dark, but it's not. That camera makes it look super. Yeah, ominous. it's on an auto iris. So yeah. the the, TV, the monitor out there kind yeah. of. All right. Well, we'll be right back to talk more about the Cowboys free agency and and other things football on hanging with the boys. Fall is here, and that means football is back, bringing all the delicious game day foods with it. As you prep for all the big games, tailgates, and watch parties, let Yokiero be your one-stop destination for all things home gating. Yokiero's fresh, flavorful, ready-to-serve guacamole made with real Hass avocados will score taste bud touchdowns as you cheer on the Cowboys. Yokiero's wide range of mouth-watering and versatile products can be found in your local grocery store's produce or deli section. Grab some today. Star Sports Tours is the only official fan travel partner of the Dallas Cowboys, offering exclusive game weekend travel packages with pregame sideline access and photo ops with current players, cheerleaders, and Cowboy legends. You want to stay at a team hotel, attend the best tailgate party in Texas, tour the star, and talk X's and O's with me, Everson Walls? With Star Sports Tours, you can. Visit CowboysTravel.com to book your travel package today. SeatGeek has your back no matter what kind of Cowboys fan you are. So whether you're a diehard fan or a don't really care fan, a we got them next time fan or we'll never win again fan, a here for the tailgate fan or a first one through the gates fan, SeatGeek not only makes buying and selling tickets easier than ever before, they make just about everything else easier too. So whether you're a here every week fan or haven't been here in years fan, SeatGeek has you covered. Download the SeatGeek app today. SeatGeek, your ticket to great Dallas Cowboys seats. How's Wingstop sound? Crispy, juicy, classic wings. Made to order, cooked to perfection, and sauced and tossed in those 11 soul-satisfying flavors. Paired with hand-cut seasoned fries, house-made honey mustard, blue cheese, or signature Wingstop ranch. And, of course, spicy Cajun fried corn. I think you've heard enough. Get your flavor delivered at Wingstop.com. Back to hanging with the boys. Welcome back to the second segment of Hanging with the Boys, brought to you each and every day by Blockchain.com. Thank you, Blockchain.com, and thank you to all of our sponsors: Wingstop, Blockchain.com, mm-hmm. Jigsaw. About the only thing that's consistent on this show, because the talent isn't, the conversation isn't, the production in the back isn't. The talent is. Wow. Yeah, we're not consistent. Kurt's not here. I won't be here. You missed you won't it. Be here. Jesse yeah. wasn't here a couple of times. Uh, I'm not going to be here a couple of times. I mean, so thank you. I'm, I'm always here. <laughs> yeah, well, but you don't always bring it. Sometimes you like you bring it today. You're bringing it today. You're showing out for the kids. I like yeah. it. The show's for the kids today. How about that? Yeah, man. F them kids. No, I'm playing. <laughs> what? No, not your kids. Not your kids. Not your kids. Not your kids. Sure. I'll tell you what, man. I went to a, a local restaurant that has video games here in the Frisco area down the street last Does night. Does Chris Hansen need to come out and talk to you? Do I? Guess what? I didn't hear you. Finish. Okay. And I go there a lot on Wednesdays because they have half-price games, so I'm, you know, and I'm cheap. We went last night. I mean, it was it was a zoo. You forgot it was spring break. Yeah, I did, and I, we went, and it was like you couldn't even. You, there were like people waiting in line to play games. I was like, so if you've never been in this area on spring break, people take off work when their kids are. Is that a, is that a national yeah, thing or is that just thing. a local thing? No, that's, that's when I was a, when I was a kid, you just got turned loose and you just went and played. 
Yeah, times you know? are different. You're, you're 52. I know. Thanks for reminding me. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like 40 years ago, it was okay. I guess so. I just still don't realize I'm that old, I guess. Yeah. It's so different. It's different, now. man. It's, like, you got to understand, like, there was, I mean, I mean, this is not a joke, but you grew yeah. up in the trailer parks. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Right? For but, sure. No, this is, see? <laughs> see? Um, see, I really did. He really did. I never, no, lived, no, man, really man. Did. I never lived in a trailer. But when a person did not try to be funny, no. how much of that? What's, what's the percentage of that? No, that it was going because to be what funny. I'm about to say is, of course, well, you live in tra- like, that comes off to be funny, but yeah. like that's the environment that you grew up in. Mm-hmm. But we grew up in a time where you had the the, the, the you had the village. Mm-hmm. So even though your mother or your father wasn't home, right. Miss Shirley next door or, you know, Mr. Melvin down the block, they watched out for the kids in the community. Mm-hmm. And you knew the boundaries. You knew, hey, we I can't go past this block. This right. is my parameter. All the kids knew that in the neighborhood. So it was like even when your mother, your father, whoever was your, was your guardian wasn't there, you always had the community that was looking out for the kids. We don't have that anymore. No, and you didn't have a cell phone. So when you no. got turned loose in the, in the neighborhood, you were loose until dark. And you you drank from a water hose. That's what I'm saying. You were lucky if you got a you know. And if you acted up, Miss Shirley could grab yeah. you by the shirt and be like, "Straighten oh, up, come boy. on, I'm let, calling your mama. You, um, let's go." Yep. You know what I mean? Like, here's a sandwich. Nah. Here, here's half a. Here's a, some pimento cheese and some bread. Yeah, I know your mother working overtime. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I know I know your mother at the job. I, you know what I'm saying? I just came from downtown. She she working she working the double. You at spring break, and that's how that's they don't have that this day. You don't you no. don't you don't have that man. So different. You don't have that. You don't so you don't you don't you know. There was, like I said, back then, a, a pack of hot dogs cost you less than a dollar. Oh, yeah. Right? So it wasn't nothing for your mom to put hot dogs, boil a couple hot dogs, and here, y'all, here, get out of here. Yeah, you know what I mean? They, then they changed the name to Glizzy's, and now they all fancy, and you know, <laughs> you know, it costs eight bucks a pack. <laughs> Jeez. Yeah. So anyway, all right. So spring break talk, enough of that. Okay, back to it. What... <laughs> so, let's talk Eric Hendricks. Let's just kind yeah, of yeah, yeah. Let's address yeah. that first. Tell me about him, because I don't know a lot about him. What are we getting? So the first thing that you're getting, you're getting a Zim guy, right? Zim's comes in. He's your new defensive coordinator. He's implementing his system. And, and, and this is not uncommon in any sport. How old is he? How old is Kendrick? 32. Okay. He'll be 32 during the season. Has he yes. been with Minnesota his whole career? No, Except he was last year. the Chargers last year. He okay. was the Chargers last year. Um, but he's been with Minnesota seven years. But he's a Zim guy, right? Mm-hmm. He, he, his system is he learned football under Zim. So anytime you see coaches, new coaches come in, I mean, hell, look at Dan Quinn in, in, in Washington, right? He's bringing a bunch of guys that have come that know his style. And this plays well. This is the OG move. This is the OG that comes into the locker room, and he's able to be an extension of the coaches or the coordinator's voice. He comes in and says, hey, guys, like, you know, on this particular play, we – Coach want this, or we should do this. And because he's been around Zim long enough, he knows how to come in and take some of these younger guys, and even some of the veteran guys, under the wing and go, here's what we need to be doing in this defense in order to be successful. So question on that, because there was a lot of talk when Zim came in about him identifying with these younger generation of players. When you bring a guy in like that that understands how he coaches, that's been around him, that these other guys, younger guys, may not – be used to his style does that help him translate hey this is what yep. coach is really saying he didn't really mean it like that he yep. just he's just old school and he's a hard ass 100 percent 100 percent 100 percent like this is the og voice this is the og voice in the locker room that is able to translate a lot of times mm-hmm. maybe some of the aggression that zim may coach with and and kind of like hey i know y'all may not be used to that but he don't really mean nothing about that like he's just intense on the practice field but here are the details that we need to really lock in and hone in on. Um, but the thing about Kendrick, he's not a guy who's, he, he doesn't get hurt, right? So we're not bringing in, I know, we're not bringing in a hurt guy. And for his age and what he's always been about, I mean, he was the second leading tackler last year for the Chargers. He tackles. He is going to tackle. So he is, is going is to he run. that guy that we've been talking about on the show that you need a guy that a dude hits somebody and drops him, right? I don't know if he's I don't know if he's the hammer. Mm-hmm. Like I don't think he's like a hammer. He's a tackling machine. Like he he's going to be able to um if, he's gonna if he played for us last year, he would led our team in tackles. He had 117 tackles right. last year. So. Wow. Yeah. yeah. I mean, we had safeties playing linebacker. But yes, like here's the thing. At 32, he's the best linebacker we have on our team. 
for those that are considered linebackers. If you want to take Mike, I don't know what you want to put or how you want to put Micah. But he's 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 better than even if Leighton Van Der Esch is in the mix, he's better than all of those. Um, he can diagnose. He can now the coverage part. 32, a little bit long in the tooth. He may not be able to cover as good. But sideline to sideline and recognition, and I think that is key, mm-hmm. is being able to understand what am I looking at. I've seen this formation. I, my, I understand my keys. Mm-hmm. When that and Nate, you can talk about it, when that guard pulls or when that tackle blocks down or when that center is the lead, like all these different things, the, the key that the linebacker can able to to, to – identify is and this is one of the things that is going to be critical that we didn't have last year because honestly guys like Marquise Belt just didn't understand it just didn't know run fits run fits I have to know when I'm the hammer I have to know when I'm the scraper I have to know where my where's my help because if my help is backside then guess what I can't do I can't get blocked backside. Mm-hmm. I got to get over the top and send it back to my pursuit, right? Uh, this sometimes you have to know my, what is my run fit. I just can't run up there to, just to run up there, because if if my help is to my left, but I get blocked to the left, then guess what? The running back cuts the opposite way. It's two guys in one hole. We're not making a tackle until it's eight, ten, twelve yards down the field. Hadn't seen that this year. So the run fits is going to be so critical for a linebacker to understand where am I supposed to fit. In this play, that that way now my my will or my Sam, that linebacker, that they're able to free flow and make the tackle. So I think I think with Eric Kendrick, you get an OG, you get a vet, you get someone who understands what the hell they're looking at. They can make the key, they can make the calls. Um, you have that guy in the middle, barring any injury, you give him an opportunity, and now you let Overshone continue to develop under the tutelage of an OG like. Eric Kendrick, and he's giving them little nuggets. Giving them little, hey, young fella, look at this. Hey, young fella, you know what I'm saying? Here's how you study. Here's what you need to watch. And Eric's been around long enough where he's seen so many different offenses that he's able to identify certain things and give the clues and the keys to the guys around him. So I think it's a really good uh, signing for the Cowboys. Um, it isn't a signing that's going to, you know, be here for the next three, four, five years, mm-hmm. um, but it is one that can make a significant impact right away barring any any setbacks as far as injury give me somebody that's healthy that can tackle that knows where they're supposed to be and when they're supposed to be I'll, Eric Kendricks. I'll take some a couple of blown coverages yeah he's a ball player yeah. he's a ball player good good player I feel better about it feel he had good. six pass defenses last year so okay which would be like third on our team wow all right you made me feel better Jesse yeah good player no no good. the Cowboys got a good really good football player Okay. Really good football player. He'll be an impact. So, Nate, we're going to take another break, and you successfully have been two-thirds through the show. Without, I'm going to make you do something this next segment. I read a text. What? I did read a text <laughs> at the beginning of the show. I have a question about for you about the offensive line when we come back on Hanging with the Boys. What offensive line? Ours. Oh, talking about that sitting in yeah. Washington? When we come back in a minute. Yeah. Right back. Our center. Soon. I'm Dak Prescott, quarterback of the Dallas Cowboys. And they snap it to Prescott, who looks right. It's not there. He escapes left. He'll run for a first down. Just like football, when it comes to crypto, it's important to have a team you can trust. With blockchain.com, I know I'm in good hands. Since 2011, they've been trusted by millions around the world to buy, sell, and trade cryptocurrency. Prescott's going to run this himself. Run it up the middle, and he scores. Whether you're new to crypto or an active trader, they've got you covered. What are you waiting for? Get started at blockchain.com. How's Wingstop sound? Crispy, juicy, classic wings. Made to order, cooked to perfection, and sauced and tossed in those 11 soul-satisfying flavors. Paired with hand-cut seasoned fries, house-made honey mustard, blue cheese, or signature Wingstop ranch. And, of course, spicy Cajun fried corn. I think you've heard enough. 
Get your flavor delivered at Wingstop.com. SeatGeek has your back no matter what kind of Cowboys fan you are. So whether you're a diehard fan or a don't really care fan, a we got them next time fan or we'll never win again fan, a here for the tailgate fan or a first one through the gates fan, SeatGeek not only makes buying and selling tickets easier than ever before, they make just about everything else easier too. So whether you're a here every week fan or haven't been here in years fan, SeatGeek has you covered. Download the SeatGeek app today. SeatGeek, your ticket to great Dallas Cowboys seats. James right here, your 2022 Dallas Cowboys fan of the year. You know how much I love my Cowboys, and I am thrilled to be talking to you about the 2023 Fan of the Year Award presented by Captain Morgan. We're looking for the ultimate Cowboys fan to spice up the game. That means you eat, sleep, and breathe the Dallas Cowboys. If that's you, or if you know someone like me, then go to DallasCowboys.com slash Fan of the Year, and you could win tickets to Super Bowl 58 and so much more. Enter today. Back to Hanging with the Boys. Welcome back to the final segment of Hanging with the Boys, brought to you each and every day by Jigsaw, the official dating partner of the Dallas Cowboys. All right, 15 minutes left. Nate, I have a question for you. Got to get you involved before we before we leave. You, you tried to you try you almost escape. You almost escape. Offensive line. What are we going to do? Because we've already had what we would consider an average offensive line this year right you needed help right you had a really good running back that's gone now yeah so don't know what you're going to do there right behind it at let's say an average offensive line now your center has left your left tackle is a free agent that sounds like from all the reports that he's not probably not coming back but no one's no one scooped him up yet so you can you could move your left guard out to tackle, but he's already got a problem grabbing onto people. If you put him in space, that m- could become a bigger problem, right, right? Right. So your two most important positions that we talked about last week: your center, <clears throat> your left tackle, are, are probably gone. One's gone. One's probably gone. You're not getting any younger across the offensive line, and then the, the run game is gone, at least as the way we knew it. What what draft the center? Yeah, a center. Well, first round. You got to get a you got to get a bulldog center. You you, I just as much as people brag on left tackles and yes they are something special to have, but I, if you got a center, if you got and I, and I know this reaching like that kid that played in Philadelphia for eighty five years in Kelsey, mm-hmm. if you can just find you one of those. How hard is it to find a, a, a center like that? Very, very hard. Yeah. Because we uh, – it's, it's some good centers around the league, uh, but they, it seems like they're not lasting long. They'll come in and they'll flash for four, five, six years, and by eight years they're gone. But Kelsey is that exception, man. He was he was that exception. He was he was, he was was nice. Uh, what's the kid that got the, the disease for us that retired by Travis? Eight? Travis Frederick. Frederick. That right there was one of the biggest losses. And I tried to tell people, I said, y'all, that's a loss. Even with his diminished skills, after he went through the disease and came back, even with his diminished skills, he was better than 60 to 70% of the centers in the league. Mm. And we haven't replaced that guy. We haven't replaced him. And uh, now we've lost our center, Biotish. Uh, he, yeah, he – to me, he was an above-average guy. Uh, the the commanders think he's more valuable than the Cowboys do, so we have to replace him. Uh, who we replace him with? We'll, we'll see. Are you worried? Are you are you worried? Or are we good? I know we're not good. <laughs> no, we're we're far from good because now you don't have a left tackle. Mm-hmm. And you don't have a center. Those are two major pieces. And your right tackle is yeah, it, it, you, yeah. That's shaking. a question mark. Yeah. That's so a big question. Would you mark. guys would you guys bring back Tyron? I know he's had the health issues. I know he's up there, but right now the options. I like, will have a price for Tyron as a swing tackle. You either you either take it, it or you don't. Yeah. yeah, and that's what I think. That's what they offered him. Like, here's your money, man. You know, stay you and here's it what it don't. is. Yeah. If not, what do you do? Because you, I, I mean, you got so many holes on the offensive line. You got you, you need a, a defensive. Stopgap guy, you need a linebacker. Well, does this take care of your linebacker worries in the draft no. by signing Kendrick, or you still need to go get one? You still need you because you still don't have any depth, mm-hmm. 
right? You don't you don't really have any depth. You know, you, nah. You, there's not enough depth in the linebacker because we don't have a linebacker. We don't. Besides the signing of Kendricks, to be honest, we don't have a linebacker. Bell is not a linebacker. I don't care mm-hmm. what you say. This kid is a safety that need to be getting great, valuable time at a safety. Mm-hmm. This, I'm telling you, we sat here. It started. Barry Church was the first one to just open it up. Then this kid here, and I'm not saying a kid. I got this you. Guy Jesse, he he latched on to it, and from that point, I'm sitting over here. Between the two shows, saying, Lord, please, Florida and them, please get this kid. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I didn't want to say nothing. So thanks to Jesse, thanks to church. It, and Green Bay said, hey, we running at him. Mm-hmm. So we didn't have a linebacker. Now we have a linebacker. Will we get depth? We need a, we need offensive linemen. We need offensive linemen. How we get them? Uh, do they draft one? And this is the frustrating part when you talk about the free agency because is you put so much pressure now on Will McClay and the scouts to hit on every single pick in the draft. And think about it. Now you need what? Two, two, maybe three positions at offensive line. You need a defensive lineman. You need a linebacker. You, you probably need to get a receiver at some point. You probably, you got to get a running back somewhere. Like, I mean, that's seven. You don't have to be picks. You don't have it. You right. don't you don't have that like it, and again anybody that you get in the fifth sixth seventh round that ain't guaranteed mm-hmm. I mean hell first round first. picks ain't guaranteed here Mm-mm. we know we know second round picks ain't guaranteed here so that puts so much pressure on your football team and I think and I get it I know why the fans are upset because you look at it and, and you're saying dude we got holes to fill and you. Right now, the Cowboys can't fill the hole they need to fill because of the Dak Prescott contract. Mm-hmm. It's holding them up. What's the, what's the hold up with that? Well, you don't have the money to spend because if you go into if you go into this year, I mean, his cap hit is so large that there isn't enough pie to go around. So the best thing that you can do is to reduce the cap hit, string you know, put the new money on top mm-hmm. of it, and now make his make his. Uh, almost his, like a, his base salary, almost like a bubble payment on a. It's on a credit a card payment. You just it's a credit push card it to the end. Just push it to the end. <laughs> CD, same thing with CD Lamb. Push those things to the end. We'll deal with it when the money gets bigger. It's a credit card. Yeah, it's the credit card, right? Mm-hmm. You know, when, and then eventually you have to, you have to, you know, the, you have to come home and pay that, pay that bill. Um, but you can't make any moves in doing that. And this is this is the complaint from the fans. It's like we're, we're you're asking them now to hit. On like not just hey we need a you need to draft a good guy we need to draft a good guy and he needs to be an impact player today, whether that's a tackle whether that's a center got to start whether that's a linebacker they got to start yep and there is no room for them not to be average or above out the gate and that's a tough tall task to go hey rookie left tackle I know we took you in the first round but I need you to be I need you to be Hall of Fame level for us to be successful. Hey, center that you've never seen these guys are going to stand in front of you before, I need you to be impact level right now, linebacker, defensive, whatever it is. So you 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 have some key spots that you need to fill, and it's like the urgency to fill those spots is not met, and then it, it leaves you to go into the draft and say, we got to go perfect. We got we to go you can't miss this year. Can't miss. I mean, you missed a lot last year so and then, far. And then, right? and then you found yourself where you find yourself a Dollar General, trying to get players to hit. Right? Mm-hmm. You're trying to you're trying to find players that are going to give you some value at Dollar General. Now we know some of that stuff will work temporarily, but overall, when you need it to work the most, it don't show. Is, up. Does every team have cap hell problems, or is it? Yeah, or is it just the we Saints. just we just we just hear about it so much because we're Saints, here, right? Yeah, the Saints, man, they were they had, they had, they was in terrible position a couple of weeks ago, but they started cutting players. They got a, they don't have a full complimentary of play, complimentary of players. Uh, uh, the Broncos and they saw what they did with sent the kid, let the kid get off to the Steelers. You know, uh, it's. Teams. I want somebody to be eighty-five million dollars mad at me. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> don't like me, like don't like me eighty-five million dollars worth. Yeah, <laughs> that's a lot of hate right there. Uh, that's a lot of dislike. Right, huh? yeah. Like, yeah, I'll, I'll take that. Like, yeah, I'll take that. So but like, I mean, the Chargers are the same way. 
you know what? And Russell was like, you know what? I'm so good. I come play for like league minimum. Yeah, one point one point two million dollars. Like I'm good because I, Denver still got to pay him twenty nine million dollars. Right. Was it twenty nine? I thought it was like thirty. 30 I thought like thirty nine. Like it's yeah. like oh, thirty nine. Yeah, yeah. Once you 39. get up in the twenties, it's just extra. Yeah, yeah but thirty nine. Uh, thirty nine is a big difference. The guy take the big extra team. Yeah, I mean, yeah. Does, does he have to pay Colorado <laughs> yeah, taxes on that, that or? But I don't know Pens- Pennsylvania taxes. On That's that. a good question. question. This is my feel on the Cowboys. Whether they hit or not, you're gonna need offensive linemen, mm-hmm. and it's gonna show up. And I promise you, if you don't feel it, uh, 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 what's I, I can't think of the kid. The young kid that played well from Oregon. We got from Oregon State this year. Played a little guard. Hoffman? Uh, not Hoffman, not, the other uh, kid. Bass. Bass. TJ Bass. Mm-hmm. If TJ Bass and Awesome Richards are not integral parts of your offensive line, we're going to be in trouble. Mm. Even if we draft a guy that, that can be a stud, because the one thing that is – our right guard, as great as he recovered the last six or seven games of the year, lad, he can't get injured because his injuries now are adding up to two or three games. Mm-hmm. So it ain't he ain't getting that ankle twist now in his one game or, or he played through it. It's it's costing us. So you finna go through this Tyron thing with your right guard. Mm. So and they redone him. Remember they redid him. So he's gonna. You know, they said, I'm talking about he may be released next year and then brought back again, but he's an all pro. But that is it. Your right tackle is the biggest question mark in America. And, you, and I forgot about him, so you just brought him Terrence up. That, your right tackle is a huge question and, mark. And when you talk about the offensive line and, like, how it's the unity, bro. It's 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 kind of falling apart, not falling apart, but people are leaving and it's not what it used to be. And then the biggest question mark on the team is like, you're about to put a lot of money in the guy that stands behind those guys that have a lot of question marks across all five of those positions. It's like, and then you don't have a run game to help him out right now mm-hmm. to take that pressure off of him, so that puts even more pressure on him. Like, I'm a little, I'm a little yeah, the, cow- the, the Cowboys see, you know. have backed themselves into a corner. Mm-hmm. Like this is this is the result of not handling business, the business side of things early on, and this goes all the way back to Dak Prescott when they should have gave him a deal after his third year, and they didn't, and then they franchised him, and then they franchised him again, and so all that stuff is is we're we're, we're now seeing the residual effect of that, mm-hmm. and now when you got to sit up here and you have to pay your quarterback because we're. Dak has found himself in, in, in this sweet spot because quarterback is such a premium position. And Dak, every single year, despite what you may feel about him, he finds himself in that top 10, 11, 12 quarterback conversation. Mm-hmm. Feel how you feel when you place him in that order, right? Um, and he plays well enough that – He's in the MVP conversation. He plays well enough where he gives you your offense a a, a number one offense in the league. Uh, but he he doesn't. He's not elite to get you over the hump that you need. But he ain't bad enough to get you a top ten pick. So he he finds himself in that very very <laughs> unique sweet spot where you're you're damned if you do and damned if you don't. Right. Like at some point in time, you're gonna have to make the tough decision of. We're going to have to either go all in and getting another quarterback from somewhere else, or we're going to have to suck bad enough, Pauls, to get a top 10 pick to find another franchise quarterback. No team has been luckier than the Cowboys when it comes to quarterback. You've oh, got an yeah. undrafted free agent and a fourth round guy for the last decade, two decades, to be your franchise quarterback. And you know what I'm saying? Like, that doesn't happen. No, mm-hmm. no other team has had that sort of luck or blessing or, or whatever you want to call it. At two quarterback positions to go undrafted, fourth round pick, and to find you a quarterback that's in the top ten conversation every single year to keep your team relevant, and 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 they haven't capitalized on it. And that window is, is, is I said it last year. If you didn't get it last year, to me that window was closing, and it, and it's showing to be true mm. by the way we're looking at this offseason. You know, you if you think Jesse that you said a whole lot then, but because if you think is is that simple, ask Minnesota. Right. They was dying to get this kid out of there. They was when he got injured, nobody was upset. Now all of a sudden they trying they, they tried to pay him, but he still got a good deal in Atlanta. Mm-hmm. Baker Mayfield was off the map. 
Mm-hmm. And he got three years, a hundred mil the bag. So I, <laughs> y'all, I mean, you know, Dez, Dez tweeted X out there. Hey, they Dak. need to pay you, uh, Dak, because <laughs> you ain't getting no help. <laughs> you don't get no help. <laughs> oh, it's gonna be interesting to see what happens. Next. TD Lamb. Next You're going to get all the balls. And I, I'll also say this in closing. When you talk about free agents and people wanting to come in here, mm-hmm. I do think when you look at the landscape, if I'm an agent, I'm looking at the Cowboys and I'm saying to myself, do I want my client, especially if he's a client that I know can get another contract out of it, excuse me, do I want to send him to a place where your head coach slash OC is on a one-year lame duck deal, mm. your DC is on a one-year deal, and now... Do I want to send my client there? Because if I send him there under Zim and thinking, okay, he's going to play this role in this, under Zim, and then Zim is gone next year, and a new guy comes in, and now my client isn't looked at in that same role, that can hurt the productivity. That can hurt us getting to a next contract. Same thing offensively. If I'm looking at a guy, I'm saying, is Dallas a place to go that my client will be able to come in, start, have success and then the coach leaves after a year. Now a new coach comes in. The philosophy changes. Mm-hmm. My client now looks at that and goes, maybe now they're not used the same way. They're not valued the same way. And now it makes it more difficult for us to get the contract, the next contract, in a couple years. So those are a couple of things that you'll look at. The Cowboys have, have put themselves in a very, very, very um, difficult situation to be successful. And, and it's going to take a lot from that quarterback to do something he's never done before is to be in that elite category to get this team over the hump because there will be some holes that just won't be able to be filled. Pause. Mike, Pause. It's not a, he's not a lame duck coach. Who? Coach McCarthy, is, he's not. They, he'll, That's in the show. They'll, they'll, they'll win 10 games next year, and he'll be, get a new contract. Yeah. Not here. Yeah, ten, 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 10 won't get it. Ten, 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 ten will get well, it if ten, you win two playoff about, games. That, that ain't enough. You got to win three. You gotta he get, will you win gotta, ten You got to get to the NFC Championship game, or really? oh, that's the topic for the next. No, for next no, week. no, no. We don't have to go anywhere, do we, Chris? Yeah, yeah. Got the, the we got a show. Yeah, yeah. The show behind you, Coach McCarthy. Look, my man ain't said nothing years. all show, and, and, and now, now he wants he to go get involved. Uh, I'm just saying, he <laughs> may live here multiple years <laughs> in Dallas. He will be the head coach after next year. Coach. McCarthy will be because they'll win ten games. They'll make it to the second round of the playoffs. They'll get kicked out, and then we'll that same conversation that you just used for the last thirty five minutes will be regurgitated to on a reason why we should yeah. keep him because we're know, rebuilding. I don't know what I don't know what it, CBD it, oil you got some inside morning. info over there. If he tell gets, us, tell us if he gets we ten wins, same, if no, he gets what, ten wins as and good, a second round exit. There as is good no a way job in hell. A good a job. He's a not great, back. You did a great job explaining the holes that the Cowboys have, mm-hmm. the, what they need to do, the got players they're trying to bring in just to be coaches. You've done a great job. And if I'm Mike, I'm taking this show and say, now, Jerry, listen to what Jesse just said. At the end? Yeah. <laughs> this is why I should be your coach going into the future. And Jerry's going to say, I'm going to do the same thing to you that I did to him. <laughs> That's it, Thank you for show. your service, Jesse. <laughs> I wish I had 50. Yeah, I wish I had 52 Nate, of you. <laughs> good seeing you, Jesse. Thanks for contributing. Kurt, wish you were here. Chris, thanks for helping out. Thanks, kids, in the back. Happy spring break. We will be back next week. Chris, thanks for keeping us on the air. Jazz, I didn't see you back there. We miss you. I saw Jazz. Oh, did you? Okay. She walked by. Hey, Jazz. And uh, what's my man's name? Josh. Josh, thanks for keeping us on the social channels. We'll be back next week. Same time, same place. Tune in to find out who's going to be here and who's not. We'll see you next week on Hanging with the Boys. We out! This has been a production of DallasCowboys.com and the Dallas Cowboys Football Club. How about this,